you know, it takes three or four wins on brutal difficulty if you don't do mutation. Just uh, so long. It's like 20 minutes each. Ridiculous. And, and like, put in perspective, a 20-minute game of StarCraft feels like a long time. So a 20-minute game of this just takes forever. And you have all, you, like, you could easily just blow through everything, but it's, it's time-based. Obviously, you have to wait. But it's a fun, it's a fun game. Ah. Uh, okay, there we go. This is Deborah Green, guild master of the local Kalmorian mining crew. People have to be evacuated as soon as possible. Our ships can't start their launch sequences without attracting the infested. We need you to protect us until we're up in the air. I usually play like all the Zerg units. Kerrigan, Abathur. Head out to um, one of them when you're ready so that it can prepare the lift off. Corona boost online. Our structure should now operate at a greater efficiency. What? Yeah, I've got my, I don't know, I don't know what upgrades are the right upgrades, I just kind of look them up online and I'm like, eh, that looks similar to what I've got, and I just go with it. Uh, usually I kind of just, like, with most of the the heroes for this, I kind of just pick what I want, and, and then I kind of test it, and if I'm like, eh, this doesn't feel right, then I'll kind of adjust them, but for the most part I just kind of put all my points into one of the two options, and then if I don't like it, I just put them all into the other option, you know, because it's, I don't know. It, it doesn't, it's not going to make a huge difference unless you have a lot of points in it, especially at this like middle middle level where you kind of have half of all of the first option. But, uh, uh, eh, it's, it's, that's why, that's why it's interesting because I just don't play it enough to actually get the value out of it that most people have, the people with like 200 plus levels, and it's just like, good lord. I might go, I'll probably go for me to reload again. I love doing it. It's so fun to do. It takes a, just so, so, so fun. There's mass mutilisks, and then I'll make them all into brood lords when I have the chance. And I'm good to go. Come on, Kerry. There we go. Throw down the spire real quick. Grab Kerrigan's upgrades. Enemy Terrans. Freeze through all of these things. Kerrigan does a lot of damage when you upgrade her, so that's that's nice. Attacked. I was very concerned. All right, just gonna start getting my upgrades. I don't really make my units yet. I, I make them all at the same time, so makes it more e uh, more convenient to just have a mass amount of units. Break that. Get some extra resources off of killing these guys. Always nice. Make sure, let's see, I never really used that. It's so helpful. It gives you so many resources. Got hold on Ridiculous. Those monsters are already clawing through the hull. Like 10 resources from every kill, pretty much. It's so valuable. So right now I'm just making my drones for my second base. You have my attention. And then from there I'll just kind of... Uh, I mean, I literally just go from there. I'll throw it on the base. 
Brace yourselves. Enemy forces are inbound. I am the snake. I'm playing seven seconds. Yeah, so we did. Get my upgrades. So I do need to get melee upgrades though. That is the one thing we need for broodlords, because just like in a regular game, um, broodlords do. You want carapaces? I'm gonna have you as and broodlords, so I need both. But in a regular game, you have uh, carapace upgrades for the broodlord, and then um, your regular uh, melee upgrades for ground. So, make sure you get all of this. The simulation aura is now ready. Let's see, how many turns am I gonna have here? I think I have a decent amount. I don't think it's enough yet. But it should be pretty good. Okay, yeah, so we're getting close. We're already at a good start right now. Chillin'. That enemy attack is on its way. Intercept it before it reaches the ship. I have too many drones right now, but it's actually good because I will need to make defenses right here, uh, spine crawlers, unless he does it for me uh, and makes cannons, but we'll see. Not sure yet. I'll actually go ahead and do that now, since I have the minerals. Explain yourself. We're going to start getting our mutas out now. And I'm going to send Kerrigan to go get this bonus. So we can get that going. So Kerrigan can, Kerrigan can pretty easily solo these guys, um, it's quite nice. And then I guess with Kerrigan's help, it's even better. Need more gas. But, oh dear. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Get out of there. Ha, ha, ha. Help her. No. All right, that's all right. It's okay. It's a little screw up there. So now we'll start to get the Broodlords once we get the uh, Greater um, Fire, but we have time. We don't need them yet, especially when we have Kerrigan, but we don't have her yet, of course, because we lost her. <laughs> So I'm just gonna save all of my gas right now, um, and wait till this upgrade finishes. Once the upgrade finishes, then I'll make my greater spire, and then make pretty much all of these guys rude lords or a bunch of them, and then from there just keep making utilisks. So, so it's a fun thing to do. Brut brutal difficulty is honestly extremely easy. Hope you're ready for this. Like extremely easy. Keep them off of that ship, commander. Alright, so I need to go defend my base. Alright, it got me stuck. Okay, there we go. Alright, we got the Greater Spire, make the Broodlords move faster. 
And we'll just start morphing them. All oh, these brood lords, I love it. And you'll have a lot of minerals, but don't don't feel like you need to make them into zerglings. Honestly, just keep it. Like zerglings, if you don't upgrade them, the zerglings have no value. Um, like they're not gonna do much for you, so there's not really a point. Um, but yep, you need these mutalisks for the brood lords, obviously. Broodlings, you can get carapace. It's just a lot. It's it, you know it's extra gas, and the brood lords are, are broodlings last. You know, a certain amount of time anyway, so is it really worth it? It can be. It's up to you though. So, I won't tell you how to live your life. But I just kind of like mass mute, uh, mass brood lords. Then go from there. Honestly, I just have fun making a bunch of brood lords, so I do it. Ooh, no bonus. I love this brood lord moving speed. They just fly past everything. It's amazing. Alright, I'm actually gonna leave Kerrigan to do it that. Kerrigan do it by herself. Everybody else will get the rest. My search continues. Yeah. yeah, again, Kerrigan can do with this by herself as well. Like, once you upgrade Kerrigan enough, she does a lot. I do, I upgrade her attack so that she does more damage to everything, but. It just lets me solo with her a lot easier. I prefer. I can just leave her alone. That's one. Alrighty. Come on. No, I one more round, I guess. There we go. Easy. I'm actually going to use Kerrigan to clear out the rest of this area up top. Actually, I can just kill this attack wave. If it's flying, then we're going to stop it all. <laughs> Fun! Oh yeah, and I forgot there's detection needed there. Whoops. Get this overseer and we'll go kill the banshees. Oh my gosh, carriers and brood lords combined. It's ridiculous. Where's my overseer? Come here. There we go. Yeah, you want to spend as little gas as possible leading up to this. So that you don't uh, get yourself screwed up. I think Lightbringer is going to burrow into the ground. You want to squash it? Do it dead. fast. <laughs> we're heading for the ship again. You know what to do. So right now we're just clearing out space for another ship because you can actually do two, three of these at a time. Um, Make it quick. Especially when you have all of this, you can pretty easily do that. Your queen, listen, speak. Explain. More good ones. Immobilization wave is now available. Swarm forces. Oh, I'm actually gonna do this real quick. Oh, never mind. I don't need to. Okay. What is Clearing all this out on this side. That's the last upgrade that we need. Another brood lord. We've got what? We've got 11? No, 12 brood lords right now. 
Lovely. Yeah, they're probably Swarming forces under attack. There we go. Ah, I don't want to lose that. What is it? Allied forces in combat. This is going pretty, pretty well. Pretty easy. Explain yourself. I've come to I mean, if you just, I mean, just look at that, it's so easy to get loaded up with this. So now we can actually take about half the army, perfect. Send it over here and start this lift off, and we'll get it done a lot faster. This cuts down on the time it takes, because, again, like I was saying earlier, it takes so unnecessarily long to uh, get this stuff done. So I just don't feel like dealing with it, so. Speak. No time like the present. Let me have these guys set on two, and we're good to go. And those guys too. So we got 22 units on each, and now we don't have to worry about it. But let me actually send Kerrigan over here to start this, because she's not, and uh, my teammate isn't, and we want him to. I mean, just look at this, the brood thing is just, the tank so much that I... Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Looks like the enemy is heading for us. Let's go say hello. Let's say goodbye. Oh, don't want to lose this. Additional gas with allied forces in combat. So, Carrion, you're supposed to start. Explain me. yourself. I need answer. Uh, oh my goodness, that is a lot. Uh, Forces Arrogant, you need to stand that over there. Damage from the infested commanders. Explain yourself. I know. I am working on it. Thank you. Okay. I think we're good now. Oh. Okay, we're good. There we go. That was a little iffy, but now we got all of that taken care of. So that's launching, and this one will launch. Some of us will survive this mess. Easy. No worries. Okay. We'll just get more upgrades, because why not? See, we have 10,000 minerals that we don't need. Quite an easy game. Like I was saying, brut brutal is extremely easy. To be fair, like it's it's just so unnecessarily easy. They need to add another game or something. So this one's taking too little effort. All right, that's a lot of overlords I'm making right now. Wow, I have a lot of new ones. Three brood lords. Yeah, sixteen brood lords. Plenty. Amazing, I love it. More overlords. Look at these overlords go. Making my game lag. Oh man, I love it. That's how you do it. Easy game. Do not let that happen. That's the last of us. I can't thank you enough. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. You saved us all. For those of you on YouTube, please chuck a like down on the video, subscribe, do all the things I tell you to do every single time because that's what YouTubers do. And for all you people watching on Twitch, hit that follow button and keep up to date with all the newest streams and YouTube videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.